kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on uh, background video player using Android Studio and Exo Player. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's get started. So, as you can see, we had this uh, method display all the videos. But before that, we need to uh, create a new uh, package, and that will be for the models. And then here we can say new Java class, and in here we can uh name the java class as video model and inside this we need to have some variables so first of all we will be have we will have a thumb uh, a, a thumbnail so we can say public string video thumb then we will have uh, you video uri then we will have video path then we will have the video name then we will have the video extension and finally we will have the video duration okay and then we need to uh, generate the getter and setter for all these okay and after we have this uh, class i mean the model class now we can display all the code so for this first of all we need we can say uri uri then we can say cursor because we need to use the cursor to fetch the videos so first of all we can say column index data and then we have the thumb and after this we will we need to have the absolute image of the thumbnail so for that we can say string absolute path thumb and make sure that it is null then we can say uri equal to media store dot video dot media dot external content uri and then we need to use a projection because we only need to fetch the videos from this cursor object so in order to have so we need to use a projection or you can say a condition and then we can say media store dot media columns dot data then we can say media store dot video dot media dot bucket display name then we need to use uh, we need to to have the id and the data so for this we can say media store dot video dot media dot id and finally we need to have media store dot video dot thumbnails dot data okay so we have this projection and also we need to make sure that we have to uh, order it so in order to order it so for that we can say final string order by equal to and we can say media store dot video dot media dot default sort order so finally we can use the cursor object so we can say cursor equal to this uh, or we can say main activity dot this dot get content resolver dot query and inside this query first of all we need the uri object then we need the uh, projection string array and then we need to use the selection but it will be null then we need uh, also the selection argument will be null and finally we will have the order by here okay so now we have this cursor object so we can finally fetch the videos from it but first of all we need to have the index column index equal to cursor dot get 
column index or throw and here we can say media store dot media columns dot data so now we can fetch the thumb so we can say thumb equal to cursor dot get column index or throw and there we can say media store dot video dot thumbnails dot data okay so now we have got the thumbnail here and finally we can say while cursor dot move to next okay so while it is it does not end i mean the next is not null or is not false then we can say absolute image thumb equal to cursor dot get string and inside this we can pass our column index data and then we can say uri my uri equal to uri dot from file and from that file we can pass the absolute image of the thumbnail and there you can see we have this error because we need to use new file and we finally we can say absolute path okay so here we have this uri or you can say thumb uri we can name it as thumb uri then finally we can say string cursor thumb equal to cursor dot get string and we can pass the thumb here and also we can say okay so we need to fetch the file uh, name and extension so in order to fetch the file name and extension we need to use the commons library here so for this we need to go to build dot gradle and here we need to add implementation and that will be commons io commons io and it will be 2.6 okay so now it will compile and as you can see it has successfully integrated so now here we can say string file name and it will be file name utils dot get name or you can say get base name and here we need to pass the absolute path of thumb and then we can say string extension and it will be file name utils dot get extension and also we can pass the absolute path of thumb and then we can okay so now we need also need to fetch the duration of the video so in order to fetch the duration of the video so we can say string duration equal to get duration we have to create the function and we need to pass the absolute path thumb and for the duration we need to use the metadata retriever so for this let's create the new function and we can say public or let's just auto create it so hover this mouse and press alt enter and click create duration okay and here we can use the media metadata re retriever and we can say retriever equal to new media metadata re retriever then we can say retriever dot set data source and there we can pass this then we can say uri dot from file and then we can say new file and we can pass the absolute path thumb 
then we can say string time equal to uh, retriever dot extract metadata and inside this metadata we can pass the duration so for this we can say media metadata retriever dot metadata key duration all right and after this we can say long time in milli seconds equal to long dot parse long and there we can pass the time here and finally we can say retriever dot release and then we can simply return the time so for this we can say new simple date format and then we need to pass in the pattern so that will be minutes and seconds and we can now we can say dot format then we can say new date and there we can pass time in milliseconds okay and yes but now we can uh, put that inside our try catch block so we can say try catch exception and let's just cut whole code and paste it inside our try block and here we can pass return null all right so now we have the duration also and so what we can do here is we can have so now we have the the string uri then we have the thumb uri the thumb path then we have the video path video name and the video extension and also we have the video duration so what we can do here is we can create an a uh, the media or oh sorry video model let me see the duration of the video okay so it's very lengthy so we will stop here video model equal to new video model and then we can say video model dot set duration and we can pass we can set the duration then we can say video model dot set video extension and we can pass the extension here then we can say okay so for the extension i we will be using that inside our the last at the last so here we can say video model dot set you video uri and it will be video sorry so it will be thumb uri dot to string then we will be using the path so we for that we can say video model dot set video path and what will be the video path it will be the absolute path of the thumb then we will have the string name so for that we can say set video name and the video name will be the file name and then we need to check if the extension is Mm -hmm. null if, if the extension is not equal to null it means that there is some extension so we can say video model dot set extension and we can pass the extension else if the if our function does not return any extension of it then we can say that it has to be video model dot set video extension and it will be mp4 okay also if we, uh, if we if the function uh, does not find the duration of the video so there we can check if duration is not equal to null then we can say video model dot set video duration okay so i think there is not the duration so we need to have the duration also instead our video model so i think there is the video duration
get duration and set duration set duration and then it will be the duration and else what we can have the default uh, duration of it to be 0 0 all right and finally this is the this is where the file the wall loop is going to end but before it we need to add it to our uh, array list so if in order to add the array list we need to create a an array list so there you can say array list of type video model array list videos and we can initialize it like here equal to new array list then we can add so there you can say dot add and we can add the video model here to our array list and finally here we can uh, set our adapter so we will uh, we will be setting the adapter in our next part of the video so i think that is enough for th this video so because we have fetched all the videos and we have put them inside our uh, this array list uh, array list videos so we need to pass it to our recycler view adapter so that we display all the videos along with their thumbnails so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you